Did you know that we can map ancient mining pollution in North America? Let me show you how. Our journey begins in the Great Lakes region, home to the Keweenaw Peninsula, jutting north from Lake Superior's southern shore. Here lies the rugged Portage Lake Volcanic Ridge, rich in native copper that was mined by indigenous peoples long ago. To trace this mining history, we analyzed lake sediments across this ridge. Small isolated lake watersheds spanning about 50 kilometers provided sediment cores for the study. Each core holds clues in the form of metals, with lead serving as a marker for ancient mining emissions, a topic I cover in depth on my channel. Using ArcGIS, I map these emissions across time with green dots representing our lake core sites. Colors from yellow to red show heightened lead levels pointing to mining activity, while blue reflects natural background conditions. At the top of the map is the date, listed as years before present, with present defined as 1950. Changing colors indicate that anthropogenic lead deposition in the lakes shifted through time. Keep in mind that these maps are from my 2015 dissertation. This animation could definitely be improved, so if you have ideas, let me know in the comments. These patterns suggest that ancient mining pollution in North America could be some of the world's oldest. If you're curious about these ancient copper miners and the journey of mapping their impact, check out my book, Great Water in the Lost Mines of Lake Superior.